Hello, this is Lisa Foreign Brilliance, and today I am going to be talking to you about stitch editing in Enthusiast. Now, this allows you to edit existing designs at the stitch level. And one of the features of stitch editing is that you can take a satin column, so select stitches that are currently a satin column stitch, and set them to be either a fill stitch or a two or three column satin. This is very helpful when you have satin stitches that are super wide or and you don't want the loops to come up or you don't want them to be skip stitches at your machine. So let's pop on over the software and I'll show you how easy it is to do this in the Embrilliance Enthusiast software. Here I have an enlarged letter and it is happens to be the letter R from the Itch to Stitch Mr. Darcy font. And I've made it larger, which is a little bit beyond the capabilities of my in this what it was intended to be. So those satin stitches are very long. So if I select this letter and go into stitch editing here, I can select these satin stitches. I'm just going to click on my big letter R here and that selects all the stitches. From this pull down menu, we have a satin column. That is what it's currently set to. And I can choose to choose either a two column and let me click off it, go back into essentials and it will turn it into a two column satin. Let me undo that so that we can go back to our regular satin stitch here, go back into stitch editing, select my letter R, and show you how to choose a three column stitch. Very simple. Simply choose it from the pull down menu and your stitches are updated into a very elegant looking three column satin. Let's undo this and show you one more variation. Let me select my satin column again, go into the pull down menu and choose a fill stitch. Now this will allow you to stitch very cleanly. It will allow you to, um, you can, this can be done on any size satin. So if you happen to have lettering in existing design or parts of design that is currently a fill stitch and you want the lettering to match, you can simply select your lettering or any satin column Letters happen to be a satin column, so I keep mentioning lettering. Select your satin column, go to stitch editing, and from the pull down, choose fill stitch. And this allows you to change your display or the stitches from a traditional column into something else. Thank you for taking some time to watch this video with me today. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more helpful tips and tricks.